About 18,000 people are still trapped by the massive flooding that has racked parts of Canada, cutting off access to entire towns and even in remote mountainous areas. What some are fearing may amount to the most expensive disaster in the country's history and a warning sign over how fragile Canada's supply chain really is. Some roads in British Columbia are completely swept away. Rivers are choked, but water levels are starting to go down. It's on these rivers that we found Brandon Desjardins and his volunteer boat crew, normally sport fishermen, doing their part to help their neighbors. Hey, we're out here, we're uh, shuttling people from Mission BC to Chilliwack BC and back and forth. Um, the highways are still closed or partially closed, so the only way out is uh, by water. So. Us and a bunch of other guides are out and uh, we're getting people where they need to be. Meanwhile, the seaport in the city of Vancouver remains cut off from these areas, which are seeing panic buying and fuel shortages, although the government is assuring residents that the food supply is secure. Canada has few main arteries for highways and rail links, so one storm was able to cut off this much in just a matter of hours. Wildfires over the summer may have also left some hills without vegetation, which would have contributed to the flooding and mudslides. More heavy rain is forecast in the coming days.